Hello everyone, welcome back to Pixel Village and I'm Radha Krishnan. In this video on Shoot Like a Pro, our series on helping you to improve your mobile phone photography, we're going to see how understanding light can improve your mobile phone photography. In the previous video, we saw how by understanding the light and how by introducing a diffusion, you can improve a portrait. In this video, we're going to see something similar again by understanding the light, how to improve texture in the video. Yes, of course, the weapon of choice is the same, is the Oppo F11 Pro powered by the MediaTek Helio P70. Come with me. Now, look at the light falling on this side of the pillar. The pillar has uh, some structure on the surface and the light is exactly like how the light was falling in the first uh, instance on Vishnu's face. Let me take this shot. Okay, now on this side of the pillar, the structure is exactly the same, but the sunlight is falling very fine. Okay, so let me take that shot. Now see the difference between this and this. Both sides have similar structure, but just the way the sunlight is falling on them, making it look very different. This one looks flat. This one feels like it's got a lot of texture. This will happen exactly the same way when you shoot people with costumes or dress with texture on it. Now, if you add texture purposely, okay, on, on layer them with clothes with uh, some texture on it, you will be able to enhance the look and feel of that image. Let's see how we can do it, okay? So, I think I will require Aditya and uh, Mitt. Uh, let me try with a couple of our own colleagues. Okay, let's get to the shot. Hi, Aditya. Hi, Mitt. Can you come in front of this uh, pillar? Okay, ready? And you too? Yeah, come there, stand there. All right, so yeah. Nice. Very nice. Okay, now let me look at this image. Okay, so this is interesting, but we can make it a little more interesting by one, adding a layer. Second, taking the light from, uh, you know, from extremely, you know, fine angle. Okay, ready. So, can you stand there? Uh, can we have the jackets, please? Okay. Aditya, can you wear that? And you wear this. Okay, now you come back on the wall. One feet down. Okay, now look at this one it's got so much of texture in it and uh, it's got a different feel completely let me try and do the portrait mode here let me get the focus on your faces very nice see take a look at this image so let's go to the first one this is how we shot okay like a picnic shot. We added a layer and we moved to the portrait uh, mode and see the kind of textures adding character, okay? It will look even better if we convert this into black and white. So, see that, black and white. Now the black and white looks be even better. Hey, thanks. Now, uh, we will see how we can operate in the expert or the pro mode in low light conditions because brightly lit conditions by and large is very safe but in low light conditions mobile phone cameras behave a little differently and there the pro mode or the expert mode will help you to get better images let's go and see that For uh, the demonstration of low light photography, I have identified a location inside uh, our building reception. It's the mailbox room. 
So this is the mailbox room which I want to shoot uh, and demonstrate the low light uh, uh, ability of this uh, mobile phone. And uh, this is not exactly the light we have in this room, it's much uh, darker. For you know, filming purpose, we are using an LED light bounced on the ceiling, which will go off. We'll switch it off while taking the shot. So let me explain the setup for uh, this shot. I'm using a selfie stick to hold the camera up and I'm using the headphones to trigger. You can also use a Bluetooth uh, you know, trigger or you can use the self timer in the camera, but I've decided to use a headphone to trigger the camera. Okay, so I'm gonna be shooting in three modes. First is auto mode, which, which is what the camera would decide for you. Second is the night mode, which is kind of an intelligent mode, which is in the camera. And third is the pro mode or the expert mode. And we will compare these three images and see how they kind of compare and how they match up. Okay, into the shoot. Let me set up the camera. Okay, I'm going to get set the levels right. Perfect. Okay, so the camera is set. The first shot I'm going to take is in auto mode. Aditya, can you switch off the light? Okay, now this is the kind of light that we have in uh, this place. Ready, standing by and I'm gonna take the auto. Okay, and now let me go to the night mode. Okay, night mode is decided by the camera and it will do its own thing. So I have no control over it. Let me take the shot. Okay. So as you can see, the camera is shooting multiple exposures and then trying to put it together using a software which is inside the camera app. Right. Now we are in expert mode. Okay, can you switch on the lights, please? In expert mode, you have two controls to yourself. One is the ISO, second is the shutter speed, okay? ISO behaves a little differently in each situation. All ISO speeds are not a guarantee for good quality images. Especially when you shoot low light situations, a higher ISO will also bring in a lot of noise. A lower ISO is preferred. When you lower the ISO, you also have to lower the shutter speed. Hence, I'm using a stand. Currently, the camera has automatically picked up uh, 900 as the ISO. And this, this camera can go to 100 ISO, which is something which I will prefer. Now, at 100 ISO, uh, the camera is asking you to shoot at 1 by 10 of a second, not really. I think I will have to shoot at probably at 1 second. Okay, let me take that shot. The camera is steady. Light off. Ready. Nice. Okay, now we should compare two images. Can we switch on the lights? We're going to compare these three images now. Now let me look at the shot that we took first, which is the auto mode. Now nice clean image. As we go to the shadow area and try to you know enlarge it, you will see lots and lots of grains here. Okay, let's go to the next shot. It's nice and bright. In fact, a little brighter than what I would have preferred, but everything is so smooth, so artificially smooth. And so basically what the camera has tried, or rather the software has tried, is to soften all, you know, not so good, like grains, etc. They've really softened it. Now to the shot that we took manually using the expert mode. Okay, it's clean if you notice. Okay, go to the darkest area where you are likely to find grains. Even that area is clean. Okay.
We shot at one second. Okay, and now let me try two and a half second. Even at two and a half seconds, you can't really... Lights, please. You can't really find any grains in the image. Let me show you a few more examples. Okay, lights off. Okay, virtually no light here. Shooting in auto. Okay, the next one is the night mode. Okay, and now the expert mode. In expert mode, the idea is to get the lowest ISO and one, two, let me give a three second exposure. about this camera well the Oppo F11 Pro has 48 megapixels in the rear camera the main camera imagine two bars of chocolates both of same size and weight one has 12 pieces in it and the other has 24 pieces in it even though uh, one of them has 24 pieces in it technically you are not getting more chocolates but you're going to spend more time trying to break 24 pieces and eating it. It's the same in a camera too. The size of the sensor in almost all mobile phone cameras are the same, but here they have packed in 48 megapixels, okay? Which means the camera must have a very powerful processor to process all that digital signal that is coming into the processor quickly process it and show it to you as an image which can be viewed because the digital signal by itself cannot be viewed. So it's important that the camera also have a very high quality fast processor which is exactly what the MediaTek Helio P70 does. Very interesting feature which this phone has and we have not tried is the front facing camera which keeps appearing while you're doing the selfie but we didn't try that because i'm not really fond of doing selfies who knows we'll do another session entirely based on how to shoot selfies bye for now ah i almost forgot in our earlier videos on mobile phone photography we got tons of requests asking us to you know give more information on photography and when are we starting our classes on photography etc finally the pixel village website is launched now here you will get to learn exactly what you need from some of the finest photographers and photography mentors in india they cover a wide range of genres and are available in a number of indian regional languages too if you're interested in learning photography in the comfort of your home Head over to www.pixelvillage.com and find out more. Bye for now.